everything because he's good, because he's kind, because he's a loving father. We left on Sunday and we are back to his presence. First, please, we thank God for God has chosen us to record to him. We thank God for he has chosen us, he has chosen us, and, and he has blessed us. Let's thank him for everything he has done in our lives. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor and all adoration. For he is able to do all things. For he is our Lord. For he is our strength. For he is our maker. He is our creator. The creator of heaven and earth. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him for what he has done. For what he has done. For what he is yet to do. For what he is doing presently. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. We have reasons to thank, to thank God. We have ten reasons, thousands of reasons to appreciate him. Even for the for, for the breath of life, even for the father we can talk, let's appreciate him, let's give him all the praise. He's able, he's worthy, he's loved, he's awesome. Many people that are better than us. This is what I think about it. Many people that are better than us, that are better than me, they are gone, even from the onset of this pandemic, presently. And let us thank God for what He's doing in our lives, for He's keeping us. It's not because we are faithful, and not because those people that are gone, that they are, that they are not righteous. It's just because He has shown us that grace. He has shown us that privilege to be in the land of the living. There is nothing we can do if it was to end anybody's life. Let's appreciate Him. Let's give Him all the praise. We are here to worship Him. That's the purpose of our existence. Let's appreciate him and the privilege to be in his presence with him. So let's worship him. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for another great privilege, for another great privilege to serve you, for another privilege to be called unto you, for another great privilege to know you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for everything. I thank you for all you've done. I thank you for what you are yet to do. I thank you for what you are doing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, O oh God. We give you all the praise. I can't thank God enough. And I know you too cannot thank God enough. You cannot thank God enough. He has been our keeper. He has been our shield, our footing, our buckle. What can we say he has not been? He has been everything we God. When we call him one time, he answers us many, many times. He's not God. He's not tired to hear us. He is a man who would have been tired by now. He's been here throughout this year. And we're still here tonight to call on him, to worship him, to praise him. But because he's God, he's never tired. He's never weary. He's God. He knows us even before we were born. He's delighted in our worship. He's delighted in our praises. He's delighted in our fellowship with him, in our relationship with him. And we also desire his presence. So for that reason, what is yet is in our midst tonight, and I know that he will bless us. So let's just worship him. Let's worship him. Let's magnify his holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, O God. Amen. Now let's worship God with this song. Oh Lord, 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 I know you are.
we are going to be praying tonight. And let's begin like this. Let's thank God. Let's thank God again. So let's go before our Father, our Maker, and ask God for forgiveness of our sins. Let's go before Him and ask Him that anything in our heart that will not make Him to hear this evening, that He should forgive us from all our sins, from all our righteousness, from all our stupid thoughts. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy, have mercy, Father. In the name of Jesus, everything you have done, everything you have done that will not make you to listen to us, that will not make you to hear us tonight. Have mercy, oh God. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. We desire your presence, oh God. Whatever that will make you to pass me back, have mercy and forgive me. Deliver me from all my sins. In the name of Jesus, because you are too holy to be old, you to me. Father, I am declaring my sin, oh God, that you have mercy and forgive me from all my all my righteousness, from all my secret thoughts, in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Brother, let's be to the blood of Jesus upon us, upon everything we are going to do tonight, upon the ministers, upon everything we are going to do tonight, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, be the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. For in Jesus' name we are praying. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 54, Psalm 54, verse 2. Say, hear my prayer, O God. Give the ear to the word of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and the prayers speak after my soul. They have not said God or death. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold, that uphold my soul. And our Lord is our helper. The Lord is our helper. The psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the Lord. From where cometh my help? He says, my help cometh from the Lord. We are going to declare to God tonight that Lord Jesus, help me in the name of Jesus. I am your presence tonight, Father. I ask that you help me in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I don't want to go back the same way I came to your presence. Lord Jesus, I look up to you tonight. Help me, oh God, whatsoever situation that you brought into the, onto the, onto the mountain to see me, onto the presence of the Lord. I am believing that Lord will arise and help you. Arise and help us. He will arise and help me in the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up my praise unto you tonight, and I speak for your help. Lord Jesus, help me. In the name of Jesus, help me, oh God. Help me, help me, help me. Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Father. Help me, Lord. Help me, help me, oh God. Help me, help me. Help me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, brethren, you have come to me, the God of man. You have not come to see any man, but you have come to see the Almighty. So ask him to help you. Whatever that is bothering your mind, whatever that is even more than you can discuss with, any, discuss with anybody, just ask him for help. And I'm sure he's there to help you. He will help you. He will release help unto you. He will send help unto you from Zion in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we are always excited to be in the presence of God, and it's another opportunity, another privilege to, to bless Him, to worship Him, to dance before Him, to praise Him. And I know you will not regret the experience tonight in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I have no more than God. No 
towards you. I am more of a you. You will do what your mind can do. You can do what your mind can do. I am more of a boy. I am more of a boy for you. Lord, we 
Let's continue to give him all glory. Is worthy of all our praises. Is worthy to be our God. Nobody to be compared with our God. Is the beginning and the end of everything. Let us thank him again for a wonderful time like this in the present. Let us thank him for what he's going to do tonight. Let us appreciate him. For his hand of power and hand of mercy that is going to stretch us. Whenever let us thank him, let us thank him, let us thank him, let us thank him. Is worthy to be praised, is worthy to be glorified. Let us thank him. Let's give him all glory. Let us thank him. Let us thank him. Blessed be the name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
thank you, thank you, because you count us worthy to be among the living ones. Give him more glory, beloved. Thank you. Give him more glory. Is worthy to be praised. Is worthy to be glorified. Thank you, beloved. Give him more glory. In Jesus' name, we thank you. For the glory we must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth to give glory to himself. For the glory we must be to the Lord. For the glory, for the glory. We must be to the Lord, to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise. Hey, hey, no man on earth to give glory to Himself, for the glory we must be. To the Lord, oh, to the Lord, be the glory, the thing he has done, oh, to the Lord, be the glory, the thing he has done, oh, to Jesus, be the glory, the thing he has done, oh, to the Lord. Be the glory, the thing he has done, the thing he has done, the better thing he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory, the thing he has done, Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa, Esheba. Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa. Yes, so be oh, yes, so be the show. Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa, Emma Shewa, Baba, 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 I shall baba, I want baba, 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 Wherever you are connected to this program, 
All I want you to be doing now in the, for the next few minutes is to be thinking. It. If you want to sing, pick a song and be singing. Because of the God of this mountain is available to make it good and useful. Begin to thank him. Give him more glory. Give him more glory. Give him more glory. Because he said that never as the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Because that you now be going to do something wonderful in your life. You are not leaving this program unto the Lord of this mountain and light your faith. I appreciate to the Lord and give him more glory. Give him more glory. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be on you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If more invisible and the wise one will give you glory. The beginning and the end of everything will bring you. The God of all possibility will thank you. The God that can change story will thank you. The, the unchangeable God will thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you glory. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. This is all we can give unto you. We appreciate you, Father. We thank you, we thank you. On behalf of all that are connected to this program, Father, I bless you. I thank you for what you are going to do in their lives. Thank you for what you are going to do on this month of this evening. Blessed be your name. Jesus, we thank you. The Holy Spirit, we appreciate you. We give your glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For the angels that are already in this program, for divine distribution that is going to take place tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your Lord. Blessed be your Lord. Blessed be your Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you. Beloved, you know, before we go into tonight's teaching, pray this prayer, prayer point for yourself as we decree loud and clear. As we decree loud and clear. You will pray the first one loud and clear. Like the God drink of the evil ones. Say no to my enlargement. What do you think you are doing? Scatter unto desolation. In the name of Jesus, God, do not be he was saying no to my enlightenment. Scatter, 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 scatter. Marika posoponaya, parabosoponaya. God, do not be he was saying no to my enlightenment. Scatter now, scatter now. In Jesus' name we pray. You will decree loud and clear. Say, you the wicked power of my father's house. You the wicked power of my mother's house. Hear me, hear me word. Whether you like it or not, I shall be enlarged. In the name of Jesus, we can power my father's house. We can power my mother's house. We can power of my evil's house. Hear me, hear me. I shall be enlarged. My wife shall be enlarged. My children shall be enlarged. My ministry shall be enlarged. In the name of Jesus, I shall be enlarged. 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 In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. You will defeat the third one before we go into our teaching. And you will pray loud and clear for yourself. You will pray loud and clear. And you will defeat loud and clear. Say, my father, in the name that is happening, all over the world, enlarge me. In the name Jesus, in the name of all these happening all over the world, my Father, my God, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me. In Jesus' so mighty name, we are praying. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for another wonderful evening again. We appreciate you for your, all your children that are connected to this program. We bless you for what you are doing on this mountain. And we thank you because tonight shall not be an exception. We bless you because you will move like never before. And we thank you because you will touch all your children before they leave this program. 
Father, into you be the glory. Lord, as we examine your word with me, open our eyes of understanding. Speak unto us. Let the power in your word set us free. And at the end of everything, let glory, honor, adoration be unto you. Father, unto you be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know, they kindly have your seats. Kindly have your seats. Kindly have your seats. And God will bless you. Kindly have your seats. I believe you can hear us loud and clear. I believe, as many that are connected with this program, I believe you can hear us loud and clear. I believe you can hear us. God bless you. God bless you. Can we open our Bible to the book of Genesis? Book of Genesis. Let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis, chapter 32. Book of Genesis, chapter 32. And I'll be reading from verse 1. Genesis 32, from verse 1. And he goes, And Jacob went on his way, and the angel of God met him. You know I mean? I am praying for you. If you can believe and you can say the loudest amen, you will meet the angels of God in the name of Jesus. And the angels of God will meet with you in the name of Jesus. And verse 2. Bible says, and when Jacob saw them, he said, this is God's oath. And he called the name of that place, my name, my name, my name. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. Why was he sending people before him? Because he has done something wrong before. And he's on, on his way back home. He believed that his brother will harm him. Obviously, he sent message before him. Messenger before him. Verse 4. And he commanded them, saying, God shall you speak unto my Lord Esau. Why is he calling Esau his Lord now? Because he has taken what belongs to Esau. And now he's looking for a way out. The servant Jacob said, said thus, I have sold them with Laban and stayed there until now. And Bible students, we know the story of Jacob in the house of Laban. Jacob seeks for somebody now in marriage. But instead of giving Jacob the person he seeks for, <laughs> at the night of the wedding, they gave him another person. And he said, I'm ready to serve for my real wife. No, I'm not going there tonight. I'm not going there tonight. And that's right. And I have also asses, clothes, men servant, women servant. And I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in the sight. Verse 6. And the messenger returned to Jacob, saying, We came to the brother Esau, and also he came to me thee. And 400 men with him. Verse 7. Then Jacob was greatly afraid because of his past deed. Beloved, if you have engaged in evil in the tempest, yes, he's under most your own etaskeda. He's under most you are afraid. Beloved, the reason some people don't have rest of mind is because of what they've done in the tempest. Beloved, if you have done evil to somebody in the tempest and the person is coming your way, under most you will be feeling afraid. Then Jacob was greatly afraid and distressed. And he divided the people that was with him, and the flocks, and cattle, and the cowmen into two bands. And verse 8. And said, so If Esau come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. Verse 9. And Jacob said, O oh God of my father, he began to pray. He began to pray. Verse 9. And Jacob said, oh God of my father Abraham, and God of my father Isaac, the God we say unto me, Return unto thy country and to thy kind children, and I will be well with you. I am praying for you. God will be well with you in the name of Jesus. God will be well with you in the name of Jesus. Now look at verse 10. That is where I am going. Look at verse 10. I am not worthy of the list of all the mercies and of all the truth which thou hast shown unto the servant. For with my staff I pass over this Jordan. And now I am becoming two bands. When Jacob was trying to run away from his brother, he only left with what with a staff, with a rod, with just one rod, and he ran away. 
and they sent him to Laban, his mother's brother, to go and live there so that Esau will not kill him. But while Jacob was returning from Laban's house, a lot has happened in Jacob's life. Many of us now, we are not in our country of birth. And I am praying for you. When it is time for you to return home, you shall not return empty and in the name of Jesus. I've preached that message before that I shall not return empty and But tonight, we are looking at another thing. If you look at that verse very well, if you read it with understanding, what Jacob is saying in essence is that God has enlarged you. And tonight, I'll be talking about what I tell you. Let the God of enlargement arise on my behalf. Say it to yourself three times. Say, let the God of enlargement arise on my behalf. Let the God of enlargement arise on my behalf. Let the God of enlargement arise on my behalf. Jacob left with just his staff, that is his rod. But why Jacob was returning back home? Jacob returned with a lot of things. Therefore, I am praying for you also. Wherever you are right now, I am praying and I'm decreeing upon your life that you shall be enlarged in the name of Jesus. You shall be enlarged in the name of Jesus. You shall be enlarged in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what is an enlargement? When you are talking about enlargement, what is an enlargement? Number one, an act of enlargement. An act of enlargement. Beloved, one thing you can use an example is balloon. If you take a balloon, you can use your mouth to blow it, or you can use an instrument which they use to blow things to blow it. In your presence, the small balloon, you will see it going up, going up, and going up. That is, you can enlarge it. Same thing is what I'm talking about tonight. I don't know what you have in your hand. I don't know what you are doing. I don't know what you're engaging. But the God of this mountain we enlarge you after the service in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what is enlargement? Number two, state of being enlarged. State of being enlarged. State of being enlarged. Beloved, it is because the finger of God is not in that thing you are doing. That's your hundred pounds. That's your one thousand naira. That's your two hundred dollars. God can turn it to billion. Beloved, go and check the record. Many of these rich people, they did not start on a good note at all. Many of them did not inherit anything. But through the mercy, through the grace, through the favor of God, many of them became enlarged. I am praying for you. If you can say seven loudest and wherever you are right now, God of this mountain, we enlarge you before the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, what is an enlightenment? Enlightenment means increase, increase, to experience increase. Beloved, when you get married, I would say for this reason, a man shall leave his parents, and a woman shall also leave her own parents, and they will become one. And the Bible says they are no more two. And those people, they come one. Before you know what is happening, they will give back to one, to two, to three, depending on what they desire. I am praying for you that if you are waiting upon God for the food for the home, or you are waiting upon God for the right partner, the God of this mountain will surprise you in the name of Jesus. You will locate your right partner, and your right partner will locate you in the name of Jesus. And before we know what is happening, you will be increased and will be alert in the name of Jesus. What is an enlargement? Number four, it means expansion. Expansion. Beloved, if you are a Bible student, if you go to a stage, the, the, the sons of prophet called Elisha, and they said unto him, man of God, where we are right now is not too small for us. We need an expansion. Beloved, if you are still a bachelor, you can be living in that your one room. But if you get married and you begin to work to multiply, beloved, what you need to do, you need to move to a larger place. That is what we call expansion. Expansion. Beloved, what is an alignment? Number five. It needs to step up. 
So what? Please step up. Please step up. I am praying for you. Those that are looking down on you, before the end of this year, they shall begin to look up unto you in the name of Jesus. Those that are, those that are saying, what will she become? What will it become? Before they know what is happening, God will move you to the top of the ladder in the name of Jesus. Before you close your eyes and open it again, you shall see yourself on the mountain top in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what is an enlightenment? Enlightenment is to move from minimum to maximum. Enlightenment is to move from minimum to maximum. Bible says, you shall not be the head, but you shall be the head. You shall not be the myth, but you shall be above only, according to the book of Deuteronomy 28. Beloved, I am praying for you. God will move you from minimum to maximum in the name of Jesus. I say, my God will move you from minimum to maximum in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the Bible. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. I will be reading from verse 9. First Chronicles chapter 4, from verse 9 to 10. Look at it. Beloved, don't deceive yourself. Don't let people deceive you. People can be telling you, your mother is no rich. Your father is nobody to reckon with. Beloved, that is what story, story, story. Is that the story? God can change anybody's story. God can enlarge anybody. Do not allow what you are going to know to bear your head down. Look at it. First Corinthians chapter 4, from verse 9. And look at it. And Bible says, First Chronicles chapter 4, from verse 9. Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Beloved, the story of Jabez is, is not a good story. The mother gave back to him in sorrow, and because of that, he named him Jabez. I don't know the name they have given unto you. I don't know the name people are calling you. I don't know what they are saying about you. But tonight, God will rewrite your story in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that God will give you the best story in the name of Jesus. Let's continue on verse 10. And Bible says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed. That this Jabez pray, as we are going to do tonight. Beloved, prayer can do anything. Prayer can change situation. Prayer can take you from minimum to maximum. Prayer can take you from the bottom of the ladder to the top of the ladder. Prayer can change your story. And prayer can rewrite the story of your life. And I was say, and God has called on the God of Israel, that if he pray unto God of Israel, saying, oh, that thou would have blessed me indeed. That God, if you will bless me indeed, and enlarge my post. To that sister and to that brother that can say the loudest amen, I declare and I pray for you. The altar tonight, your territory shall be enlarged in the name of Jesus. God of heaven will arrive and enlarge your post in the name of Jesus. And look at it. And that the hand might be with me. And that thou would keep me from evil. I am praying for you. He did not just ask for enlargement. He also prayed for protection. I am praying. With what is going on all over the world, all over the universe, I decree and I pray for you. You shall not be a candidate of COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. The, the COVID-19 will disappear. God of heaven will continue to protect you and your also in the name of Jesus. That it may not be me. And God, look at the last statement. And God granted him that which he requested for. Because I am praying for you. As you are going to pray tonight, as you are going to demand of God in life, God of this mountain will grant you all your heart desire in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it is because we cannot pray. And it is because we cannot demand enough from God. Many are demanding for wrong things. But I am praying for you. Because this afternoon the Lord said, Look, son, ask them to ask the God of enlargement to arise. That in the midst of what is happening, that is ready to enlarge some people. And I am praying for you. Among those that God will enlarge, even in this midst of this coronavirus, you shall be among them in the name of Jesus. You shall be among them in the name of Jesus. You shall be among them in the name of Jesus. You know that 
what you need to know about divine enlargement. What you need to know. That is when God enlarges you, what are those things that you will see? What you need to know about divine enlargement. Number one, it changes one's name. Divine enlightenment will surely change your name. If we what? If we change your name. If they have been calling you a barrier woman before, if God enlarge you by giving your own baby, you will see people changing their story. Maybe they will say mother of twins. Oh, that's the mother of those people are going. If we change your name, I am praying for you. Tonight you shall experience enlightenment that will change your name in the name of Jesus. All you need to know about divine enlightenment, number two, it changes one story. Beloved, divine enlightenment will change your story. Maybe you have been proving something on that little counter in front of your house before. And before people know what is happening, you experience the increase of God. And you now own the company. Beloved, how will they mention the name of your company without mentioning your name? Whenever they want to mention the name of the company, they will definitely mention your name. Divine enlargement will surely change your story. Because without asking people to talk about you, people will talk about you. Because whenever they want to talk about what God has given unto you, it's one of they mention your name. And I am praying for you. The, after tonight, you will have a new story to tell, and people will have a new story to tell about you in the name of Jesus. What you need to know about divine environment again, number three, it attracts crowd to God. It attracts crowd to God. Yes. If it is God that enlarges you, people will come to you and say, how did you do it? And you will not have a choice than to point them to the direction where you've received your blessing. Why do you think people are going into a cultic world? Because it is a cultic people that are giving them the word, and that's the reason they are initiating more people. If your own God blesses you, it is a must you will bring people to your God. Because people will be forced to serve your God. Therefore, I am praying and I am prophesying that that miracle, that enlargement, that will make people to serve your God, you shall receive tonight in the name of Jesus. That change of story, that will make the unbeliever to seek your God. That story, God will give unto you in the name of Jesus. That enlargement you shall experience in the name of Jesus. Bible says, if they don't see signs and wonder, they will not believe. That if you don't see enlightenment, they will not believe. You know, some things will happen. People will be forced to serve your God. Because they will want to know where you are getting it from. I am praying for you. I am praying for you. I am praying for you that your testimony shall attract crowd to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. What you need to know again about the divine enlightenment, it attracts people to your life. Yes, apart from attracting people to go to down to God, it also attracts people to your own life too. Only that you need to separate the good and the bad one. When you are experiencing and like is on the most. You know, the reason some people are jealous of you is because of what God is doing in your life. And you don't need to fight them. You don't need to say anything to them. Amen. The reason they are doing all they are doing is because they can see the goodness of God in your life. Instead of them to tap into what God is doing in your life, they will now turn into another thing. And a lot of time, many of us, we don't know what God is doing. We don't appreciate God enough. The reason some people are fighting and attacking you is because of what God is doing in your life. And I pray for you. The goodness of God shall not become things of us in your life in the name of Jesus. Goodness of God will not become things of yesterday in your life in the name of Jesus. When you experience the life, it will attract people to you. Beloved, you can't own a company and say you are the only one that will be working in that company. It is not possible. It is not possible. Except you want to be a one man trader. If you own a company and you are producing things, you will have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people working for you. 
Amen. Even you will have people that are older than your mother working for you, older than your father working for you. If you are that small and the big one to you, even the people you don't think you will sit, to, sit down together, you will see you sitting down with them. What you need to know about divine learning, number, number five. It makes one to become a reference point. It makes one to become what a reference point. Many other times when people use the name of a man of God to pray, not that they are, they are turning that pastor or that prophet to God, they are only using the person as a reference. Beloved, when Elisha crossed the Jordan with Elijah in order to go and receive double portion of anointing, because when Elijah said unto Elisha, what do you think you, what do you want from me before my God will take me away from you? He said to him, he said, if I can receive double portion of anointing in your life. And he said, oh, that what you have demanded for is not an easy thing. But if you can see me, when I am being taken up from you, then you will receive it. And truth is what? When the chariot of fire took him away, he looked unto Elijah and dropped his mantle. And when Elijah was returning back home, the Bible student with Elijah, while they were going, they crossed the river Jordan. And while he was returning, then he needs to cross again. What did he do? Say, where is the Lord God of my father, Elijah? And Bible said, he hid the river Jordan with the mantle, and then the, the river was divided again. Beloved, he used Elijah as a reference point. He wasn't calling Elijah his God. The where is the Lord God of Elijah? Amen. So what am I saying in answer, beloved? If you experience enlightenment, I'm talking about divine enlightenment, not the one that you've gotten from satanic kingdom, not the one from a cultic world. I'm talking about the, the enlightenment from God. When you have that enlightenment, beloved, people will turn you to a prayer point. You will become a reference point. You can't call yourself a pastor now, especially from, from Africa. And you want to talk about fathers in, fathers in the Lord, you will not talk about Ayo Babalola. The man died long time ago. People are still talking about Ayo Babalola today. And even those ones that are still alive, you can't see people not talking about Baba Deboye, Baba Kumiyo, Yedipo. Why are they using them as reference points? Because the God of heaven has enlightened them. I am praying for you. If you can believe, if you can believe, before the end of this year, you shall experience divine enlightenment in the name of Jesus. You shall experience divine enlightenment in the name of Jesus. Elijah said to that wife of the sons of prophets, what do you have at home? And the woman said, I've got a bottle of oil. And Elijah said, Elijah said to her, go and borrow more pot, because it is time for your enlargement. I am praying that little thing in your hand, that little thing you are holding, that your instrument of labor, God will turn it and multiply it. And before you know what is happening, you shall be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Beloved, what you need to know about enlightenment, it moves move from zero level to become a hero. It moves on from zero level to become a hero. I am praying for you. You shall become a hero in the name of Jesus. It moves on from zero level. But when it is time for God to enlighten, it doesn't look at, at the family you came from. It doesn't look at your CV. It doesn't look at your background. It doesn't look at that. God can change anyone's story. God can enlighten anybody. God can turn anybody to anything. I am praying for you. Among those that will enjoy the enlightenment, you shall be among them in the name of Jesus. You shall be among them in the name of Jesus. You shall be among them in the name of Jesus. Beloved, let's quickly look into the Bible as we look into some examples before we go into our prayer. We are going to behave like Jabez tonight. 
We are here to pray about enlightenment. He said, and I quote, to let my people ask for my enlightenment. We are talking about let God of enlightenment arise on my behalf. Let God of enlightenment arise on my behalf. And I am praying for you. God of enlightenment, we arise on your behalf. We arise on behalf of your family. We arise on behalf of your children. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's look into the Bible. Briefly, beloved. Let's look into the Bible. The first one, beloved, let's look at Genesis. Genesis chapter 9. Genesis chapter 9. You have it on the screen. Verse 27. Genesis chapter 9. And look at verse 27. It says, Go shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tent of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. Go shall enlarge Japheth. God shall enlarge. That is, God shall enlarge the territory of David. Genesis chapter 9, verse 27. Bible is talking about somebody here called David. He said he is going to enlarge David. You can put your name there and you will read it again. Personalize it. Say, God shall enlarge Elijah. I guess you are there. And he shall dwell in the tent of the United Kingdom. And Many people shall be his what his servant. You better decree. Say God shall enlarge Elijah a day. And if you can't remember your name, kindly put my name there. God shall enlarge David. That is a prophecy and a promises for David. And that same thing can still happen in your whole life. Too. That's another, that's one person. Exodus 34, verse 24. Exodus 34, 24. When you read the place we read before Genesis 19, it's talking about person, talking about Japheth. But when you look at Exodus 34, 24, it's not talking about a nation. Look at it. God can enlighten you as a family. As you are prospering, your wife will be prospering. As your wife is prospering, your children will be prospering. Look at it. Say, but I will cast a nation before thee, talking about the Israelites, and enlarge thy borders. Enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord and God Christ in the year. That is, even when you are back to the enemy's journey, nobody will take what belongs to you. It is because you don't have enough. That's why you are running here and hey, I want to give you, hey, I want to give you. Beloved, if you have more than enough, you don't need to run at a scatter. Some people don't know they are balanced in their account because the money is just too much for them to be, to be calling, they call it their manager every now and then. Beloved, how do you know there's a problem in, in, in the marriage? Or, or your family is suffering. When they give the man meat, and the man said to the wife, ah, Aaron, Ori met a low and a pot. Kilo Shuri, Kalo Jen. When the man began to, to number meat in the pot, then you will know there's problem for you. Look, and when you have more than enough, Will you attend to be checking how many needs you put in your seat? Some they will they will use it to, to pop to calm their eyes, and they will have numbers of days to eat it. I'm not saying you should waste it, but then when you are now there, you rice you you should make it. You must one bag of video. Bag is it? Must one twenty cups low and there. It's 30 cups and two, two cups every week. They love it. It's because you are not yet enlarged. I am praying for you. The enlargement that will make you to give to people 
with that evil thinking twice. God will make you to experience such an enlightenment in the name of Jesus. Why are you dodging? You will be at home and they'll be asking for you. You will be teaching your children how to laugh. So tell, tell, tell uncle, I am not at home. And if that child will even disgrace you, it will be uncle. That is why I can tell you, I am not at home. I am not at home. I am not at home. You know, I am not at home, beloved. First thing, first thing, we are talking about let the God of enlightenment arise from the earth. Let the God of enlightenment arise from the earth. First thing, chapter 4, verse 20 to 25. First thing, chapter 4, 20 to 25. I'm already reading. The Judah and his prayer were many. As the sun which is by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking and making merry. Eating and drinking and making what? They are making merry because God has enlarged them. Look about the one. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms from the river unto the land of Philistine and unto the border of Egypt. The promises in Ezra 34, verse 24, is now manifested in the life of Solomon. Beloved, every promise in the Bible is for you, if you can claim it. That was verse 21. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms, from the river unto the land of Philistine, and unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the day of his life. Even the people from other countries are serving Solomon. Beloved, don't be deceived. They will tell you the white people don't have pleasure. They don't do this. I have seen somebody a young man, now, by now, you will be 50 now. The people, the call white people, are prostrating for him. Even the English people, when they want to bless him, they prostrate. So he took them from here down to Africa, and they are working for him. And when they go there, they saw people prostrating when they want to bless. They too, they don't have any choice than to be prostrating. They have to bow in the morning when say, Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. I am praying for you. What will make people that you never believe is work under you to work for you? That thing will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. It is because you don't have more than enough. You can have your company in Africa, in Nigeria. Even you will not put it in Lagos. You will go and put it in Igotaku. The people of Igotaku, God bless you. In your village. And you will take the white man there that this is where I want you to be working. And the white man will be working there because you have the money to pay him. We are talking about enlargement. Verse 22. And Solomon provision for one day, look at it. Solomon provision for one day was 30 measures of fine flowers and three score measure of meal, 10 fat oxen, 20 oxen out of the pasture, and 100 sheep beside art, robot, followed there. And parted bow, not just ordinary bow, but big one. Look at verse 24. For he had dominion over all the region on this side the river, from Tisra even to Asa, over all the kings on this side the river, and he had peace on all sides around about him. I am praying for you. Beloved, the reason you are running here is because God has not enlarged you. When you are hoeing, it's under more because the Bible says, lender will continue to be what? To be ruler over the borrower. Lender will continue to be ruler over the borrower. But when you are in life and you have more than enough, beloved, the Bible says, We shall lend the nation. I am praying for you. If you can keep to it very soon, you shall be lending unto nations in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Solomon had peace on all sides, reigned about him. That is, he is enjoying peace. Because of what? Because of divine enlargement. God has enlarged him. God has enlarged his, what? his kingdom. And people are bringing it to Solomon. Men are trying to go and shake it. The people that does not need it, they are the ones they are giving. Because God has enlarged them already. And because people want to be reckoned with them. People want to be part of their story. They don't need those things. They will be given to them. Let's move forward again. The same chapter. 29. 
was in school. This is still the same Solomon. Let's read from 29. A sample of divine enlightenment. Let's read from verse 29. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, a city more and likeness of what of art, even as the sound that is on the seashore. Look at it. That is another divine enlightenment. God gave him wisdom and understanding, a city more. That is, God gave Solomon too much wisdom and understanding. You know that you can ask for it also. The Father, Enlarge my wisdom. Because you need wisdom to survive. You need wisdom to, so, to become somebody in life. You need wisdom to be enlarged also. Verse 30. And Solomon wisdom is there the wisdom of all the children of the East country and all the wisdom of what? Of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Esquire, and Haman, and Shako, and Dada, the son of Mao. And his fame was in all nations in the world. And he spoke 3,000 proverbs. And his song were 1,005, verse 33. And he spoke of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even to the new song that spring get out of the world. He spoke also of this and of vow and of creepy things and of fetus. And he spoke, look at verse 34. Verse and that came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all things of the earth, which are heard of his wisdom. Because God enlarges wisdom, God enlarges understanding. And people are trooping to come and see Solomon. I am praying for you, beloved. God will enlarge your wisdom, and God will enlarge your understanding. Beloved, if you go to your Bible, you will see people that God enlarged. Talking of Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, Jabez, that why was son of of prophet that was holy, but enlightened. Beloved, I am praying for you. Your home will not be an exception to that. We are looking at what? Let the God of enlightenment arise on my behalf. Let the God of enlightenment arise on my behalf. Beloved, what do you do in order to provoke divine enlightenment? What do you need to do in order to provoke divine enlightenment? Beloved, let me tell you. If you desire and need enlightenment more than ever before, it is in this season we are now. Because failure to be enlightened, many will face a lot of them. But things are changing now. Things are getting out of hand. Like I said on Sunday, because when I stood here, where I'm standing now, in the month of April, and I said to you that God said after the COVID that a lot will happen to the economy. Even the COVID is still much around, and you can see what is going on now with the economy. In the United Kingdom now, we're in a recession. And I said to you on Sunday, somebody asked me, what about Nigeria? Said, Nigerians, they have been dining and whining with the recession. They are not new to recession. And recession is not new to them. So they have been, recession has been part and part of Africa. So we don't need to talk about that. But the, this country we are calling, yes, big countries, fathers of countries, they are also going through recession. So if you need the brand enlightenment, you, know, you need it now more than ever before. You need it now more than ever before. What do you need to do in order to provoke divine enlightenment before we go to there? Number one, beloved, you must be a friend of God. You must be a friend of God because God will not enlarge his enemy. God will not, what? God will not enlarge his enemy. If you want God of enlightenment to arise on your behalf, you must be his friend. God, God will never enlarge his enemy. If somebody is doing evil and such a person is prospering, go and shake it very well. It is the evil that is prospering him in order to destroy him anytime. The first thing you need to do, you must be a friend of God. And how do you become a friend of God? What do you, what, how do you become? You need to run away from sin. You need to always obey him. You need to be doing what he asks you to do. You need to be doing that. If he has given you an assignment, you need to be doing that assignment with all your power and with all your might. Because he can use that assignment to prosper your life. 
he can use that assignment to enlarge you. That is number one. You must be a friend. And to be a friend, you must be ready to obey him when it is convenient and when it is not convenient. Number two, you want to be enlarged, beloved. What do you need to do again in order to provoke divine enlargement? Ask him what he wants you to, to be doing. Ask him that this great inquiry prayer. Beloved, if you want to be enlarged and you are doing what God is asking you to do, you cannot be enlarged. Don't deceive yourself. I always tell people, I have other things I'm doing. But this job of pastoring, I cannot sacrifice it for anything. I'm ready to sacrifice all that thing for it, but I cannot sacrifice this. Yes. I'm ready to give it all my time. Some will say, Pastor, but you're still working. I say, when is the time for him to say, stop, I will stop. But the little time I've got, I'm giving this one more time than any other thing. I'll see what he wants you to be doing. Number three, beloved, if you have located what you're supposed to be doing, now begin, eh, begin to fire that thing with prayer and with fasting. Say, Father, you ask me to be doing it, you must enlarge it. You must enlarge it. Beloved, the reason many are not enlarged is because they are not doing what they ought to be doing. Some know what God has them to be doing. They are not doing it. They are still chasing shadows. Beloved, let me say this before we go into our prayer. When Elijah followed Elijah in order to receive double portion of anointing, and when he got the anointing on his way back, he met some students in the school of prophets, but they are not in the same school. They were attending another school. But Elijah attended the school of Elijah. But they were in another school. And they said to him, why, even while they were going, they were mocking him. But when he was returning, they said, oh, look, look, look. We want to go and search for your master. Maybe his friend with us taking him to another place. And he said unto oh, them, See, don't embark on Jesus' journey. Don't go and search for the man that God has taken away. They wouldn't listen. Many of us, we engage in Jesus' thing. We engage in what we know in us. We engage in, in, in what we know most of us. Some engage in just talking and talking all their time away. Some engage in by backing. Some engage in jobs that we know most of us. Some engage in a lot of things. Beloved, if you don't want to miss your enlargement, you need to be doing what God asks you to be doing. Wherever you are connected to this program, bow down your head now. And begin to talk to God. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. If I'm not your friend, Make me your friend tonight. Or if I'm doing what you ask me not to be doing, have mercy. Father, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Begin to ask for forgiveness of all your sins. Father, whatever I've sinned against you, that is making you not to enlarge me, have mercy upon me. We want to go into our prayers, beloved. Let the God of enlargement arise in my behalf. Say, Father, have mercy. I always tell people, no matter the strength, no matter the labor, no matter the time, no matter the resources, you waste on the wrong thing, you will still get the wrong results. If you're on the wrong track, wrong track will not lead you to the right place. Wrong track will lead you to a, a strange land. In order not to find yourself in a strange land, you must be on the right track. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. Even the reason behind my not being enlarged, have mercy, have mercy. Some have done a lot of evil against others, and they won't go to enlarge them. The little you have, you are using it to oppress people. If God now, if God now enlarge you, are you not going to be oppressing people? Talk to him, say, Father, have mercy upon me. This time around, if you give me the second chance, I am not going to misuse it. Some people have misused one opportunity before, and now God is now giving them another one. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. I want to be enlarged. Talk to him a little bit. We want to go into our prayers now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. So mighty name, we pray. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Beloved, if you don't understand this song, it's a Yoruba song. Just be following, following us in the spirit. Following us in the spirit and sing with us. Yes, as we sing it. I will interpret it. But just sing with us. And we will sing loud and clear. 
Uluwa jo o Demi soke Mumi lo si Ibi diga Ako tato Gaju mi lo Uluwa jo Demi soke Let's <laughs> Before we sing it, don't tell for the benefit of those that don't really understand it. But what we are saying is that God, please take me to the top. Mountain that is higher than me, in your mercy, take me to the top of that mountain. That's what we are saying, in case you don't understand that song. But God, please take me to the top. Mountain that is higher than me, in your mercy, take me to the top of that mountain. Let's sing it. Now that play again, Oluwa Jo, Demi Soke, Numino Si, Ibi Giga, Aqua Tato, Gaju Milo, Oluwa Jo, Demi Soke. Amen. This is the first prayer point you are going to pray. And make sure you pray more than anyone connected to this program. And you will decree loud and clear like this. Take God of the lightness. Arise on my behalf tonight. In the name of Jesus. Arise on my behalf. Arise on behalf of my wife. On behalf of my children. In Jesus, they will pray. The three loud and clear again. In the order of God. Oh God, oh Lord, and enlarge me on every side. In the name of Jesus. In the order of Jabez. Oh God, oh Lord, enlarge me on every side. Enlarge my wife. Enlarge my children. Enlarge my home. Enlarge my ministry. Enlarge me on every side. Enlarge me. Enlarge me. Enlarge me. In Jesus' name we pray. You know what? Where we read when we started, Genesis 32, verse 10. Jacob said, With my star, I cross this Jordan. But on my way back home, I have got two bound. But this, <laughs> it was so enlarged that it could divide his enlargement into two. And you will not even know at all. What am I talking about? The little in your hand, God of heaven can enlarge it and it will become multitude. That hundred pounds of hundred thousand naira in your hand, before you know what is happening, you too can be talking of hundred million. Those that have one video in their hand, they don't have to every love it. Don't let anybody deceive you that you cannot be alive. No, 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 no. God can change any story. God can change any story. God can change any story. And you will decree loud and clear. And you will pray like this. In the order of Jacob, oh God, arise and multiply me and let me be alive. In the oh God, arise and let me be alive. Oh God, multiply me. Yes. Makapos upon that, Allah, 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 Allah,
Lirimo Sutaya in the order of Jacob. Oh God, arise. Multiply me and enlarge me. Multiply. Multiply. Let me be enlarged. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Be free, loud and clear today. To anybody, anywhere, saying no to my enlargement. Beloved, what are they saying you are not going to get married? Because they know if you get married, you are going to be enlarged. But it, because it is not going to be only you again. When you get married, you have your own children. And you, are not, you will not be the only one again. Why are they stopping you from moving to your land of promise? Because they know when you get there, God will increase you. Why are they saying you are not going to change your location? Because they know when you change that location, something good will happen. Why are they attacking that business? Because they know if you should prosper with that business, then there is going to be an enlargement. Some, there are doing what God asked them to do. And that thing is not prospering. Why? It's because some people are saying no to their enlargement. Read this next one now. Beloved, whatever you do with the enemy of enlightenment, God will not ask you any question. Jesus said, those my enemy that says I will not reign over them, they bring them before me and slaughter them. That is, those enemy of my enlightenment, that is what Jesus was saying. You will decree loud and clear. Say anybody anywhere saying no to my enlightenment. This is one prayer in millions. The enlightenment you desire is not the one I desire. Mine can be my ministry. Yours can be your marriage. Another person can be the business. Beloved, anybody that is saying you will not prosper, what he or she is saying that he or she doesn't want your enlightenment. That's why you will pray. Say anybody, anywhere, saying no to my enlightenment, hear the word of the Lord. Be buried now in the name of Jesus. Be buried. Be buried. Be buried. Anybody, anywhere. Say no to my enlightenment. Be very, 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 Somebody was getting married, and a brother-in-law to that person began to say contrary things against the marriage, not knowing that this you <laughs> caught his voice. And for, yes, the video recorded everything he was saying, and truly, for that demonic pronouncement, that marriage never produced anything. And you are going to be loud and clear. See, any evil pronouncement working against my enlargement. Beloved, pray this prayer like never before. They have used evil pronouncement to stop a lot of enlargement. They will say, Yes, she's probably now. The way she travels, that same way she, she, she shall return. What are they saying? That she is not going to be enlarged over there. So we we'll be going to business. Okay, you want to start a business. That business will not produce anything. And that evil pronouncement will work against the enlightenment of that business. Beloved, they are using evil pronouncement to stop a lot of enlightenment. Many that you see on the road walking here and there without having any place they are going to go and shake their life. They have used evil pronouncement to start their destiny. You will defeat loud of them. Say evil pronouncement. Walking against my enlightenment, you shall not walk again. Be revoked tonight in the name of Jesus. Be revoked, 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 be Jesus. 
near, we are praying. Be aware. Satanic conspiracy can also work against the language. Be aware. Bible says, when they saw him at Aaron, they conspired against him in order to slay him. Why were they conspiring against Joseph? It is because of his what? Enlargement. It is because of enlargement. Some people you don't even know at all, they are conspiring against him now. Because they know if you should get there, that's the end of all their evil conspiracy. And that's why you are going to pray now. Bible says, surely they shall gather. Don't, that not by you. That if any God they gather because of you, they will surely scatter for your sake. And you are going to decree louder. Say evil conspiracy against my enlargement. You know that they conspire against Joseph. Children of the same father, they conspire. Say, let us kill him and see what will become of his work of his dream. And see what will become of his own enlargement. Because all he was telling them, say, I saw something. I am going to be enlarged. God is going to make me to do this. And they are not happy. All those dreams of Joseph is what? Dream of enlargement. Any good dream is a dream of enlargement. That is the dream that will move you from minimum to maximum. That is what they are fighting against. You will just be loud and cry. Say satanic conspiracy against my enlightenment. Scatter now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This not for you are praying it three times. And make sure you pray it more than anybody. And you will decree loud and clear. You will decree loud and clear. Say, no matter the situation of the whole universe, I am moving from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus. No matter the situation of the whole universe, I am moving from minimum to maximum. I am moving. I am moving. I am moving. My wife, my children are moving from minimum to maximum. This ministry is moving from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus, we are moving. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. You will pray the prayer again. Say, no matter the situation of your war, I am my household. We are moving from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus. Yea, Makela Bosopunda Yakaparanda. Rimosopanda Lebosopunda. Rila Kaporia Kaposunda. We are moving up. We are moving up. We are moving up. We are moving from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus, we are moving. We are moving. We are moving. In Jesus, name we pray. Beloved, you will pray the third one. You will pray the third time. You will pray the third time. Beloved, uh, we have people from Dublin, people from Nigeria, America, Canada online with us, even people from the United Kingdom. That's where you live, and you are going to pray about that country. Take no matter the situation of the country, I am deciding. I am moving from minimum to maximum. But let me tell you, let me tell you. Go and check your Bible very well. Read from Genesis to Revelation. No matter what is happening, some people will still be prospering. Even when the Lord, the God, when God destroyed the world with water, Noah and his family, they are still enjoying the peace of God. <laughs> When God destroyed the world. When God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, God was still there for some people. Because they left, except the one that disobeyed God. You will be feeling loud and clear. 
said, no matter the situation of the United Kingdom, mention the name of the country. If you are in Nigeria, mention Nigeria. If you are in Canada, mention it. And if you are in America, mention the name of your country. Said, no matter the situation of the United Kingdom, ah, Elijah, this is what I I am moving from minimum to maximum. In the name of Jesus, I am moving. My fellow, I live on Sopunda. Live on Sopunda. Lele Punda. Yay, 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 yay. My yellow can be more Sopunda. Tiny boy, Sopunda. I live on Sopunda. Rima Sopunda. I am moving. I am moving. I am moving. I am moving. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord said I will tell some three people connected to this program. But after tonight's prayer, he is going to raise some air pass for you. The air pass that will be helping you without looking back. You will even be asking them, why are you helping me? They will say, we don't know. We are let to be it. And they will not go back until they See that you become somebody. Three people connected to the people. And I saw another person. You are finding it hard ah, now. The Lord said that to tell you that if we turn this around and before you know what is happening, you will begin to sing a new song. You will begin to sing the new song. We have a few more minutes to pray. And you will be pray loud and clear again. And you will pray for yourself. Say, anointing of divine enlargement. My love is available. Fall upon me now. In the name of Jesus. My life. The life of my wife. The life of my children. Yes, the, my ministry is available. For now. 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 now. Anointing of divine enlightenment. My life is available. For now, for now, for now, for now, for now, for now. In Jesus' name we pray. You know that. All you need is for God to multiply that thing you are doing. If God could use Elisha to multiply that wife of sons of prophet, what can he not do? God use Elijah for us. And I am standing here now <laughs> as the Elijah of today. And I'm believing God will use this sermon to multiply your destiny in the name of Jesus. And you are going to pray for yourself. You will open your two hands. And you will pray loud and clear. Say, my father, multiply your seed in my hand. You don't need to order anything. But there is a seed of God in your hand. All the Lord needs to do is to multiply it. And before you know, the little will become millions. The millions will become billions. Before you know, you will be using your hand to do good things. Maybe you have laid a foundation before you are not able to finish. You will, you will, you will see yourself finishing it after this program. Bible says, say unto Zerubbabel, that his hand that has begun a good thing we surely complete it. And you will decree loud and clear. You are prophesying into your hand. With that two hands, you shall carry your baby. With that two hands, you shall lay good foundation, you shall finish it. Without your two hands, you shall prosper. Without your two hands, you shall collect, yes, your testimony. That letter you are waiting for, without your two hands, you shall receive it. That your paper you are waiting for, without your two hands, you shall receive it. And very soon, you will use your two hands to carry your goodness. And so shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. I said, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. You will decree Lord and clear. Say, my Father, in your power and in your might, multiply your seed in my hand and let my hand begin to prosper from now on. In the name of Jesus. Multiply. Multiply. Multiply, 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 
multiply. Let me prosper in whatever I lay my hands upon. Maketori makapanda ya rimo soponda keli mo rima soponda ya le runda aile mo koshima ya le taponda ya le rudi ida mo soponda multiply 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 what the seed in my hand good thing you lay in my hand multiply them multiply them multiply them multiply 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 in Jesus name we pray. Pray to the man before we leave you to the man for your own enlightenment with your own mouth. And you will decree loud and clear. Loud and clear. You will pray loud and clear. Take my power in the knees of all my enemies. Anoint my head and let my cup run over. In the name in the midst of my enemy, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me. Bible, Bible says in Psalm 23, in the presence of my enemy, thou art not my head, and you enlarge my head, my head. Lord, in the midst of those that are demanding for you, in my life, enlarge me, enlarge me, enlarge me. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray the second to the last one to my father. Don't let me walk for what you say. You know, some people are just walking just for what you say. What do I mean? When you are only walking just to pay your bill and you are not prospering with what you are doing, you are only walking. At the end of the day, you don't have anything to show for all your labor, for all your time. That's why you are going to pray this message to my father. Don't let me walk for what you say. Prosper me. Enlarge me. Begin to pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus, Father, enlarge me. Prosper me. Increase me on every side. Like Solomon. Increase me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. And you will pray this one for yourself. Say, where is the Lord God of enlargement? Arise and enlarge me on every side. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Where is the Lord God of enlargement? Enlarge me. My wife, my children, on every side. Enlarge us. Enlarge us. Enlarge us, 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 physically, spiritually, financially, ministerially, enlarge us, enlarge us, enlarge us, enlarge us, enlarge us, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Beloved, I will leave you for the next three minutes now. If you want to kneel down, kneel down. If you want to sit down, sit down. If you want to stand up, stand up. Wherever you desire enlightenment, begin to use your mouth to pray now. Maybe I've not mentioned it before. Where you need enlightenment, begin to pray for yourself now. You're on your own, Begin to pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Beloved, pray for yourself. Ask God to enlarge you, beloved. Ask Him to enlarge you. Ask Him to enlarge you. Wherever you desire enlarge you, begin to talk to Him. Begin to talk to Him. Begin to talk to Him. Begin to talk, to him. talk to Him, beloved. Say, Father, this is where I need enlarge you. Enlarge you. Enlarge you. Enlarge you. You know the area, beloved. Talk to Him. The God of this mountain is here. Able to enlarge you. 
beyond your wildest dream. Be Lord, I talk to him now. Say, Father, I desire and love you, and love you, and love you, and love you on every side, and love you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know, let's sing this song before I pray for you. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah, for oh Lord, you have done, for oh Lord. Hallelujah, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Oh, Lord, mighty Jesus. We are grateful. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you have done. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. We are grateful. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. We want to bless you for all you have done for us in this program. We thank you for the enlightenment each and every one of us will experience after this program. We bless you because you have answered all our prayers already. Father, take all glory in the name of Jesus. I stand here as your servant and as your oracle. And I pray for us many that are connected to this service. Wherever they are, I decree by the decree of heaven that before they know what is happening, let them be alive beyond their widest dream in the name of Jesus. Wherever they desire your enlightenment, Father, I pray that you will enlighten them at that point in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for them that they shall return back to Shiloh like Anna. Return to come and share their testimony on this mountain in the name of Jesus. And I pray that whatever the situation of the whole universe, these ones that are connected to this program, each and every one of us shall be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, your offering and the type of people brought to you. Accept it, multiply it, be turned back to us in billion fold. Do not allow any of your children to lack any good thing. No matter the situation of the whole universe, always provide all your children in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You know where you can take that money to your local assembly. I believe some church have resumed back now in Nigeria. And if you are yet to resume, take your money and take them. If you are led to give to this ministry, you can see our account if you are living in the United Kingdom. That's our account, Metro Bank, account number 1788013, and so called 230580. And if you are in Nigeria, you are led to give to us, we can give you the account number in Nigeria. If you are in America, wherever you are, if you are led, we are not forcing anybody, but you are ready to give to us. God will bless you in return. Let's listen to announcement before we share the verse. This is part of the first ministry international. We meet on Tuesday like this for this revival hour between the hour of 6 30 and 8 30. And very soon we shall be departing from this program. And every third Friday of the month is our night vision, night of all possibility. And this Friday is the one for the month of August. We are going to be meeting from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Same time with Nigeria. Those in America, depending on, on the number numbers of hours, all you need to do is to support four or five hours. Some is four hours, some is five hours. That means if it is four hours, then you are joining us seven. If it is five, you are joining us six o'clock. And we'll be ending it at 2 a.m. Three hours program. And it's going to be a playing program. So it's the title, I call it the night of all possibilities, where God makes everything possible. And we are still meeting on Sunday, between our 19 to 15 for our glorious Sunday service. And every last Sunday, every last Sunday is our deliverance Sunday. If you are available, join us this the last Sunday of this month for our deliverance Sunday. And God will bless you as you join for this program. For those that are joining us for the first time, I saw some names, which I don't know who you are. I saw OPPO, A90, something like that. So you, God bless you for joining us. If you want us to add it to our 
contact that uh, database. Kindly send us a message. We will do that. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. And this is to thank everyone online. God bless all of us in Jesus' name. Uh, the Arika Ways, Agedu, uh, Daughter of Zion, the Akiyemi, Sister Fola, Kelani, our landlady, God bless you, Sister Gladys, Remo Wiss, Missy, Infinity, Hot, the Akiyemi, uh, our daddy, God bless you, Sister Moreni Kajos, Professor, God bless you, Manuela Roku, God bless you. Amen. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna call the Yadjo, Sister Lamy, God bless you. Somebody you see, OP, OPPO, God bless you. Sister Stella, God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. Sister West, God bless all of you. We really appreciate you for joining us. God will bless you in Jesus' name. And God will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now put on your microphone as we share the grace in fellowship. So that I don't take into the time. Let's put on our microphone as we all share the grace in fellowship. Can we go? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the I thank God that is need to be clear the word of the Lord in the last of the year. My feelings are just not that bad. I need to clear the word of the Lord in the land of the living. My feelings are not that bad. I need to clear the word of the Lord in the land of the living. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's give us the Lord. Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Amen.